putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a... Closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So we're confronting the... AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. All right? Funny seeing you again. Will you relax a second? Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is very suspicious. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We've found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. I swear I did not see a thing. Calm down. I don't want to hurt you. You're not.
largely has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Okay, let's get introduced. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Well, that's a proper conspiracy theorist's level of paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Right. Got it. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Could I use the windows up there as an access point? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. I'm on it. I'm honestly kind of impressed with just how many traps he's got set up in here. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I'm on it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Okay, let's calm down and talk. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Albion doesn't take resistance fighters. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait, wait, stop! Albion knows your location. You have to run! Now! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Yes, we already know this. Come on, why else would I come here otherwise? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amy, think. Shit, fine. From the table, I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Move it, move it! Shit! Don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. Fuck! and coming back. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing. Some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this.
redemption. I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? They don't scare me. This is why I joined DeadSec. If Nigel Cass is unveiling a new project to a bunch of city bigwigs, we need to get in there. I can't imagine it'll be good for anyone. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Send me their info. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. How are we going to turn someone from Albion without a thorough investigation first? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Training, mate. No time to talk. Oh, <sighs> Twat waffle. What can you find on this guy, Bagley? Looks like he's a marked man. Clan Kelly put a bounty on his head. Why? He's an uncommonly dangerous underground boxer. Apparently, he once won a fight with a bag of cement, however you do that. And in his last match, he took down a mob-backed favourite. Now they're sending out an enforcer to make sure he never wins again. Those cowards don't know the meaning of a fair fight. Bagley, have me track down that enforcer. Already done. A spy? Really? It seems counterintuitive to put that as your profession. Also, we're after is here, currently enforcing some poor bastard's head into the pavement. If you take them out, our boxer friend may live to fight another day.
dangerous for civilians, and have the potential to turn violent. There's the target. Who says violence never solves anything? Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. <laughs> 